So Tracer has been somewhat of a natural fit for me. Kind of like Winston. But I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. Her kit, when used properly, really flows like water. I've become really confident in my Tracer ability and I've learned some things that I think will help you improve your own Tracer. So here are six tips to improve your Tracer on console. Okay, first things first, you gotta change your ultimate to L1. I wasn't sure if this was obvious or not, but decided to put it in the list just in case. But it's 10 times better to go for post bomb sticks when you don't have to take your aim off the joystick to do it. And by default, she blinks with both L1 and L2, so it's an easy change. High sensitivity. I'm sure this is an obvious one, but it would feel strange if I left it out. Tracer is definitely one of those heroes that benefits from a high sensitivity more than a low one. I use 8035 myself, but I also use Control Freaks. If you don't use Control Freaks, then you should be fine with something like 60, but just go as high as you can and still stay comfortable. Manage your blinks. If you find yourself reaching for that last blink, it's time to go hide in a corner and take a breather. Not Roadhogs, I just mean take a break. You can't operate effectively if you only have one blink in stock all the time. So it's okay to take a break to get them back. If you find yourself always running out of blinks, then you're doing it wrong. With managing your blinks, you have to understand you don't always have to blink while you're reloading. Only blink if a threat is facing you, which leads into my next tip. Always attack the back. When the game first launched, no one could touch Tracer. They didn't know how to deal with her. This little creature teleporting everywhere. Nowadays, people can actually predict where you'll end up when you recall and you get taken out. So times have changed and you have to adapt. That means avoiding taking enemies head on. You have to keep attacking their blind side, which usually means behind the whole team. But also try to keep track of spawn time so as to not let, say, a McCree that's coming back to the fight flashbang you and take you out. Which again, leads into my next tip. Always bait the abilities. I actually still run into players that when they see me pick Tracer, they'll say, oh, the Roadhog's going to counter you, or the McCree is Tracer's counter. What they think is that they are hard counters to Tracer, when in truth they are soft counters. Hard counters are when there's absolutely nothing you could do about that hero with yours in a 1v1 situation. Like Winston on a Genji. Winston will almost always win that fight if Genji doesn't receive help from his team. But it's not the same with Tracer. Tracer can always outrun Winston, and he can't keep up with her. The best he could do is chase her away or hope she wastes all her blinks so that she can't get away. Because of that mobility, Tracer can bait those abilities like Roadhog's Hook and McCree's Flashbang. You do this by making it look like you're about to commit to the fight, but then quickly blink. Most Tracers use the rhythm of shoot, reload while blinking, shoot, reload while blinking, and that's a good rhythm, and that's what they expect to see. So if you blink and make it look like you're about to unload your magazine, but quickly blink again, they'll likely use their ability and miss. You can even not shoot at all and just blink, pause for just like a nanosecond, then blink again, just to make sure you know that the ability is on cooldown before you commit to that fight. Number six, understand the two play styles of Tracer. Now, this is just from my own experience and I'm always thinking of the most efficient way to do something. And I've come down to two main play styles. First is the backlining tracer. This is more the default playstyle that everyone expects from a tracer. Your goal here is to get to their backlines and put pressure on the enemy healers. If you take them out, great. But if you don't, then it's important you don't get taken out yourself. You basically live your life on the backline, constantly being an annoying fly to the enemy. A fly that has the potential to wipe their whole team, but still a fly. Just keep in your mind, harass the enemy. This means that actually getting kills is not your main priority but a close second. Your main priority is to harass. Against low comp levels, this is enough to get an Ana or a Reinhardt to actually chase you around the map and not helping their team, which is a really good thing to do and makes your team's job easier. The second playstyle is actually not much different. There is an important difference though. See, the first playstyle, the backlining tracer, is all done on your own, by yourself. But against a coordinated team, this style is actually very dangerous to do, and I do not recommend it. That's where the second style comes in. I'll call it the Boomerang Tracer. If someone come up with a better term, then I'm all for it. Very similar to the style you can use with Genji. As Tracer, you stay behind your team's backlines and look for an opening. Then you instantly blink through the entire enemy team, turn around and start attacking the back while your team pushes into them from the front. And now the enemy is confused because they're being hit from two different sides and don't know where to focus first. 
And even if they choose to focus you, you just blink back to your team's back lines and fire from there, build up your blinks and health, then go back in, constantly applying the other previous rules of not taking them head on and baiting abilities and all of that. The reason the backlining tracer has trouble against a coordinated team is because it's usually a long journey back to the safety of your team's backlines. And if enough of the enemy is chasing you, trust me, you will run low on blinks and they will catch you. So that's my official tracer guide for console. I know some tips weren't console specific, but felt they were important enough to talk about. So what do you guys think? Did I miss anything you feel should have been added? Or maybe disagree with something? I'd love to read your comments. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.